What's up traders? This is VTrades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for PayPal Holdings with the ticker symbol PYPL. I will first be going over what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please trade at your own risk. So what is PayPal doing? I haven't looked at this stock since uh, August 20th and you see that that's when price basically was breaking outside of this range. I made that large move up higher right over here. It continued a little bit higher, reached the measurement target at the 7371 level, and then sold off from there. Uh, so either way, this is still bullish. Reason being is that uh, price did break out. Even though we reached the measurement target, we're still above that $68 level. So that's critical for price to do. Let me go and race the drawings. A lot of stuff um, not really necessary to look at anymore. So we'll put the range back on. So this is the range. Uh, price did break out the top, so we'll see if it fails and comes back in the range. But since it broke out, there's a good chance it can stay above it. So if it stays above the 68, there's a good chance that the trend will continue higher from here. So the bears are going to try a couple of attempts to get price back below the range. If it fails, we'll see the price rally out of here. If they're successful, then you know what's going to happen. It's just going to continue lower. Uh, so that's how I'm looking at PayPal. It did break out. That's a very bullish sign. It needs to stay above the 68 dollar level. If it fails, it'll come back in this range. If it succeeds and stays above, we'll probably see continuation to the upside. So PayPal doing pretty good. Uh, let's see if it might go for maybe another larger leg up. This is all one large leg right here. Maybe it's trying to make a larger second leg targeting at targeting 77.42. So we'll see if it's trying to make a larger leg up. It's definitely possible, um, but we'll see what happens. It needs to stay above the 68 dollar level. We need to see price bounce very uh, soon, uh, probably to today. Uh, we did see a little bounce, uh, but we need to see more, maybe halfway back up to the 71.59 level, and then maybe another drop, something like this, and then price has a good chance of rounding higher. You don't want to see the momentum staying like this um, sharply. You want to see price lose that momentum towards the downside, bounce, then continue lower, and then fail one last time before rallying. So that's how I'm looking at that's how I'm looking at PayPal on the daily chart. Uh, basically, it's still in bullish territory, expecting higher prices. We'll see what happens. Take a look at the weekly chart. Uh, looks like price is starting to get back above that EMA. You see that entire bear market, uh, basically since you know September 2021, price was mostly below that EMA. Uh, it, if it barely got above the EMA, it was short lived, and then eventually you know crashed back down below that blue line, and then all of a sudden price started consolidating. And now we're mostly above it. So the trend, it looks like it's reversing. Well, we don't know 100% sure, but it is looks like it's reversing and we can expect higher prices. We have this bullish trend line right here. Uh, we have a measurement target that could be potentially higher. It needs to stay above the $68 level. If it can, there's a good chance we can see uh, much more higher prices from there. Um, so again, it did also break this uh, downward trend line. Let me go and show you guys that right now. It broke this downward trend line. So showing you know strength to the upside. Uh, I want to see it get above the um, seven dollar level once again, because that was the prior breakout level. You can see that there's a lot of resistance over here. Let me go ahead and put a horizontal line. A lot of resistance around this level right over here, because this was support, 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 support broke down below, support resistance here in July, and now it's acting like resistance again. So we want to see it stay above the sixty-eight and eventually break above the mid seventies. And then there's a lot of room to the upside. Uh, so that's all I have for PayPal on the daily weekly charts. As right now, it's looking pretty good, uh, but we'll see how it develops. That's all I have for PayPal on the daily weekly charts. This is V Trace, and thank you for your time. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below.